Well, it's Sunday. And, of course, no Jetty Wolf. My truck sure does get a nice parking spot. A truck port. Well, I'd much rather see the boat under here. So, I'm not going to actually hear anything, I'm sure. I'll probably call Del Marine and see what they're up to tomorrow. I'm sure if they're doing some seals, they have to order them because, of course, they're not going to have them. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to make some half-ounce jigs. It's the same way I made some one-ounce jigs. So let's go into the old workshop and uh, see how I'm going to do it. So this is a repeat. Repeat, repeat. It's really kind of cold and windy. And believe it or not, I had somebody who wanted to go fishing today. An old regular customer and his grandson. I bet you it's brutal out there on the river. Blowing, cold. I'm cold just standing here. Well, this is what I call my filetzol box. This is what I went to pick up at Del Marine when I saw that they were actually taking the lower unit off the boat and doing some work. I actually went and got this because my dad is working on restoring another. Well, I, I don't know if we can use the word restoring. He's sort of rebuilding another BMW motorcycle and he needed some assistance via little small Makita reciprocating saw, lithium ion battery pack. So this is the box where I keep all my Flazol blades. Now that's a 12 inch whoop ass right there now. So this is where I keep all my blaze all blades, fish cleaning gloves, batteries, a little a WD will do ya. Stainless shears. So where I keep everything. And this is also an integral part of how I'm going to make half ounce jigs today because really all I need is this of all the hand tools in the world if I was to choose or electric or battery operated tools in the world if I was going to choose one or two preferably two it would be this and a battery operated like Makita drill, which I don't have, which I had because I got one off of my uncle. And the last time I worked on the trailer, the boat trailer, I left it sitting on the fender, then back the trailer into the water. And believe it or not, it stayed there. And the whole drill went completely underwater and came back out and even lasted going down the road until we stopped and I said to my dad, who was with me, where's my Makita? Where's my drill? We went out and there it is, sitting on the fender of the boat trailer. And it worked for a while, for a little while, when it was submerged underwater. So I, I like Makita stuff because it works even when it's submerged in salt water. Well, afterwards. So let me lay up what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to show you. It's just like I did before. If you, Well, I was at Wally's World today, and I just picked up some cheap, real cheap Sawzall-type blades here. Bear claw. Because I like the little short ones. Uh, metal ones here. 
Got three of them in this little pack. And uh, that's the blades I'm going to use. And again, you know, the reason I'm doing this is because, I don't know, it's kind of fun to make some stuff. I got a whole bunch of little nice half ounce egg sinkers. And what I'm going to do is, like I said, the same thing I did before. I'm just going to lay out a bunch on this rag here. Now these are kind of precisionly done. Very precision done. That's the reason why I like these uh, little water gremlin or whatever they, or what is this? Uh, what's the brand of these? Bullet weights? Just bullet weights. Half ounce, seven to a bag for 96 cents or something. Bullet weights. Uh, made in El Salvador. Huh, that's really surprising. They're not made in China. But they're very um, precision cast. And then on Amazon, I got a hell of a deal. Uh, I guess this was basically closeout. This is one of my favorite hooks. This is the hooks that I've been using from now on. Just keeping it simple. You know, the old K-I-S-S -S thing. Keep it simple, stupid. Okay. That is a 3407 Mustad. Now, I've got all the molds in the world for making sinkers, but not necessarily jigs, jig heads. So, I'm going to split this just like I did before on one ounces, and now I'm going to make some half ounce jigs out of a 3 aught. Must add 3407, which is a wickedly strong hook for its size. Plain and simple, standard of the industry kind of hook. And I'm going to split these, and then I'm going to put that in there, and I'm just going to crimp it down. And I'm not using, these are for bait, just like my one ounces that I made with a one ounce egg sinker and a 5 aught hook. They're for bait presentation only. They're not, this isn't to put soft plastics on. I've got all those jig heads. I've got jig heads galore for that. That's what we're going to do. And I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Well, as you can see, I got a lot of egg sinkers here to do. I think it was seven packs of seven. So seven times seven. But all I do, this is all I did before, is I take like a little screwdriver just to hold it. A little half ouncer. And I put it in the vise. Kind of get her straight. And the nice thing about this mosquito is it's even got a light in the front and it's very 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 precision all right there's cut number one and what's what's easier <laughs> pouring jigs yeah probably pouring jigs and breathing in the you know, the lead fumes. I don't know what to do with myself when my boat is not sitting underneath my carport. I'm ate up with my boat. So I take my three yacht hook. Well, sometimes you gotta, gotta waller it out a little bit. Hmm. You know, more Eldris looks like that's the perfect width to do so. And I stick it in there and push it forward. And go into the vise here. And if it actually makes this sort of flat, 
that's okay. Line it up a little bit. End product. There you go. Half ounce jig head. Bait displaying device. If you don't want it spinning around on there, just push it a little bit more. So I guess what you gotta have to do is you gotta have a Makita or something like that. That's fine, even if it spins around. That's not the whole purpose. No jig that we're using ever, a regular jig head, is sitting up. They all fall over. So what do, I don't care. Okay, well, there's number one. So I guess what you need is you need a vise. You need a bunch of hooks. You need a bunch of egg sankers. You need a little, a nice, the little short blade really works out. And... Uh, you need a Makita. As I'll tell you, the Makita, like I said, if there's two tools, two two power tools that I'll, I'd ever want to not be without, it's this and a cordless drill. So not many of you, I'm sure, will do this. It's probably not something that's up your alley. But this is the kind of crap I do. And it's not necessarily to save money or anything. It's just, I don't know. It's just a project. Another hook. I'm sure somebody has thought of this before. I've done it throughout the years. Different ways, I guess you could say. And stick that in there. You, know, you want to definitely center it up as much as possible if you can. Mm. Mm. that not really that high tech huh folks it kills me when these guys are using these super duper high dollar jig heads and of course they're putting them on plastic most of the time when you throw something into the ocean never expect to ever get it back again well let me tell you that couldn't hold any truer than the st john's river all righty folks well thanks for stopping by here on this blustery blustery but very sunny and cold winds up to gale force offshore here in jacksonville bizarro land florida Thanks for stopping by. And, uh, uh oh. Thanks for stopping by here and um, watching this all over again. If you missed it the first time. Oh, I almost forgot. And I'm going to show you. If you can see, it's awful dark in my kitchen because I only got one light bulb right there. This is, I gotta pay attention. This is what I'm doing right now. Also, look at that. Fish chowder. Is that, is that pot big enough? Some fish chowder. I meant to make this out of almond milk, but that's what my mom said would be good but this has 
carrots, well, besides fish, this has carrots, potatoes, cabbage, corn, uh, garlic, what else? Spinach, onions, and potatoes in it. This is what I call Dave's, look at all that. Yeah, I have to come in here and stir this every once in a while. This is what I'll be eating all week. That's the reason why I make so much. And there's a little bit of stock left in the bottom of some just vegetable type soup that I had. And I had bacon and sausage in it. I only had about that much in the bottom. And this is what I do every week now, especially during the winter time. I might do it in the summer too is I make big giant jug or what do you call this thing pot kettle I don't know of soup and I boil it all down and eat the goodness mm. I, should, I, I wish I had some like wine or something I put some wine in there too but I had to run into the house here and give this a stir so you got to see this bonus footage. <laughs>